Hi everyone, it's Zoe from the Scratch Team, also known as Zinnia. Today I wanted to show you how to make a character designer in Scratch. Basically, it's a kind of project where the player can customize their own character of whatever kind. If you've ever seen a game that's like, make your own cupcake or design your own fox, this is that type of game. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to make your own game like this. Let's get started. So first, let's pick what you want the theme of your project to be. Do you want to make a design your own cat game or design your own dragon or design your own outfit? It can be anything you want. As an example, I'm going to make a create your own dog game, but this video will work no matter what theme you pick. So first, we're going to draw one version of the character in our game. If you haven't drawn much in Scratch or you don't really enjoy drawing, don't worry. I'm gonna show you a drawing style that's really easy to do and actually doesn't require any drawing experience. To draw a character, I'll hover over, choose a sprite and click paint. Here's the drawing style I find really easy to use. I basically make the character out of simple circles. I'm making a dog, so I will click on the circle tool and drag out an oval-ish circle thing to be the head. Then I'll click on this purple square to change the color to black. And now I'm gonna draw small circles for the eyes. One thing I like to do is once I've drawn the first eye, I will click on it and click copy and then click paste and now I have a second eye, which I could just put over here. So I could have a purple dog in my game, but I think I want the dog's fur to be brown. Um, to change the color of this circle, I just have to click on it to select it and then click this square again. To make a brown color, I'll switch the color up here to something in the orange section of the rainbow. And then I can change the brightness to get a darker shade of brown. Okay, so now I want to give the dog sort of floppy ears. How do you make shapes that aren't circles? What you can do is make a circle with the circle tool and then click on the point editing tool and you can click and drag on these points to mold the shape into the shape you want it. So to make floppy ears, I'll drag this point over here, and maybe this goes over here. And I can also click on a point and move these arrows to control the shape around that point. So that's how I draw shapes that aren't circles. I start with a circle, and then I'll just move the points a little bit. And now that I've drawn one ear, I can click on it, and just like with the eyes, I can click copy and paste. And then now I have a second ear, and I can also click flip horizontal so that it's pointing this direction. Now I'll set the color to pink and draw a circle to give my dog a nose. And I'll use the eyedropper tool to get the same color I used for the head and draw a circle for the body. And I'll drag these points down a little bit so it looks like it's sitting down. And I'll give the dog a tail. So for that, I'll make a circle and then move this point this way and move this Okay, so we've drawn one version of our character. And you, of course, don't have to draw what I did. It can have totally different parts. You could have one of the parts be the a donut and one be the frosting on the donut, or cat ears and a cat's face, or an ice cream cone and an ice cream scoop. And you can make all these shapes out of really simple circles and rectangles. So how do we make this a character designer game where the player can actually modify the character? So you see how the character is made up of these different parts? I'm going to take each of these parts and put it in its own sprite like a sprite for the ears and a sprite for the tail, and then the player will be able to mix and match them. So here's how you do that. Pick one thing that's going to be a part of your character. So for me, the tail will be one part. I'll select the tail, I'll click copy, and now I'm going to hover over, choose a sprite and click paint to paint a new sprite. And then I'll click paste, and there you go. Now you have a sprite with just the tail. I'll name this sprite tail. So let's do that for all the other parts too. So I'll go back to my base character. I want both the ears to be one part. So to copy them both, I can click on one ear, then hold down shift. And while I'm holding down shift, click on the other ear. And that way I select both of them. And then I'll press copy again and make a new sprite and click paste. There you go. I will call this one ears. I will select the eyes and the nose and copy them and make that be the face. And I will copy the head and body and make that be the body. Oh, and I'm also gonna pick a background. You can use any background you want. I'll use stripes. Okay, now I have all the parts of my character as individual sprites. Let's hide the base character. We don't need it anymore now that we have all the pieces. So we want to make all these pieces go to the same spot. We don't want like the ears over here. So here's how I do that. I'll click on one of the sprites, like the body, and make it go to a certain position, like 
zero, zero, um, and I'll make it go there when the green flag is clicked. And then for each of the other pieces, like the tail, I'll make that piece go to the body when the green flag is clicked. So now the tail goes to the same spot as the body. I'll give that same code to all of the pieces. Ah, one problem is that the face is behind the body. Uh, so for any sprite that you want to be at the front, um, you just need to give it this code, go to front layer. And I want the tail to be behind the body. So I'll give it the code, go to back layer. Okay, we have all our pieces starting in the same spot. Now comes the really fun part. We get to draw all the different options that the player can choose from. So I'll go to the ears and I'll add a new costume and draw a pair of pointy ears because that could be a different option for the dog. You could start with a circle and then move these points down. I will click copy and then paste. And I can also flip it this way. I sometimes need to move them so that they're positioned right on the head. And I can also add different color options. So if I duplicate this costume, I can just set the ears to a different color. And you can have whatever colors you want. You could have purple ears, blue ears, pink ears. It's your game. Now, let's make it so that the player can actually switch between the ears. If we go to the code tab, we can use this next costume block to switch between them. And how about we make it do that when the ears are clicked? So now the player can click on the ears to change them. And you can basically do this with all the different pieces. So uh, let's design a few other options for the body. Maybe I'll switch the color to a different shade of brown and add a white patch on the belly. And for the body, I'll also make it go to the next costume when the sprite is clicked. So there you go. Now you have a game where the player can customize their character. Now, if you don't feel like drawing, I'll show you another way of doing this that doesn't take any drawing at all. You can always pick a base sprite from the sprite library. So maybe I'll pick the penguin. And then we have a lot of sprites that are items of clothing. You can find them in the fashion category. So I'll choose the party hat and add that. And then you can make this item that you added change costume when you click it. So now I can customize my little penguin. So you can still totally make this kind of project if you don't feel like drawing. And also there's a link to this starter project that I made today uh, in the video description below. So you can always remix that and modify it to make your own project. Anyway. That's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you have fun making character designer projects. I cannot wait to see them. I'll see you next time and scratch on.